Hi everyone! If you are new to my email channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button for more notifications. Today we're going to learn on how to compute the mode of a group data. First, we need the frequency distribution. As you can see on the given table, there are 50 students who took the quiz in math. Second, how to solve the mode of a group data, which is denoted as capital M with a small o. Of course, we need the formula, and the formula is MO equals XLB plus the quotient of DF sub 1 over the sum of DF sub 1 and DF sub 2 times I. Now, let us try to determine each symbol being used in the given formula. So, we start with MO is the mode of a group data. XLB is the lower boundary or true lower limit of the model class. DF sub 1 is the difference between the frequency of the model class and the frequency above it, while DF sub 2 is the difference between the frequency of the model class and the frequency below it. And lastly, the I is the class width or class size of the class interval or class limit. Okay, let us now put them together, the frequency distribution and the formula. So as you can see, that the class limit or class interval were arranged in an ascending order. So right now, we're going to identify or reveal each value of the different terms. So let's start with the XLB. So how can we find the XLB here? First, we need to know the model class row. How? Which of the frequency has the highest value? That is 10. Therefore, this fourth row will be our model class. Now, how can we find the XLB? XLB is the lower boundary. So, in the class limit 21 to 26, which do you think is the lower limit? Is it 21 or 26? Yes, of course, the lower limit is 21. Therefore, we're going to get the average of 21 and 20. So, we're going to add it and divide it by 2. 21 plus 20 is 41. Divide 2 is 20.5. Therefore, this is now our XLB or the lower boundary. Second is, we're going to find the DF sub 1. Remember that DF sub 1 is the difference between the model class frequency and the frequency above it. The problem here is we don't know yet the frequency of the model class. So since this is the row for the model class and this is the column for the frequency, definitely the frequency of the model class is 10. That's it. Now we can determine the DF sub 1. And another problem is we don't know which uh, frequencies above or below the model class frequency. So we're going back to the class limit. So 15 to 20 and 27 to 32. Which class limit is above 21 to 26? Is it 27 to 32 or 15 to 20? Of course, 27 to 32. How? Because 27 is higher than 26. Therefore, this row will be the above. Now, if this is the above row, which is the below row? So, this is now the below row of the model class. So, right now, we can determine the DF sub 1, which is the difference between the frequency of the model class and the frequency above it. Is it 6 or 8? Definitely is 6. Therefore, DF sub 1 is the difference between 10 and 6. 10 minus 6 is 4. On the other hand, if we're going to get the DF sub 2, this is the difference between the frequency of the model class and the frequency below it. So, the below frequency is 8. So, 10 minus 8 is 2. Therefore, DF sub 2 is 2. Now, I, how can we get the class size or class width of the given class limit or class interval? So, we can get it by subtracting the upper limit to the lower limit 
on any class limit or class interval of the given scores in math. Like for instance, if we're going to subtract 50 to 45, that is 5. Add 1, that is 6. The same thing as if we subtract 8 to 3, that is 5 plus 1, that is 6. Or if we're going to count it individually, like 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, there is still 6. So the I or the class width or class in size of the class limit or class interval is 6. Okay, these are now all the different values that we need in order to solve the mode of a group data. So, shall we start now to substitute everything? So, let's go back with the formula. MO equals XLB plus DF1 or DF sub 1 over the sum of DF sub 1 and the f sub 2 times i. So let us now try to substitute it one by one. So let us bring down mo or mode equals the xlb is 20.50 or 0.5. Bring down here, then add because that is plus. Then the df sub 1 is 10 minus 6, which is 4. Over the f sub 1, bring down 4. The f sub 2 is 2. We have 4 plus 2. And the class size of the class limit or class interval is 6. Put it here. Then after that, we're going to simplify. So since 4 plus 2 is 6, therefore equals 20.5 plus 4. 4 plus 2 is 6 times 6. So if we're going to simplify this number, we can make it as 4 times 6 over 6 or 4 divided 6 times 6. But I prefer to do it in this way that 6 divided 6 is 1, 4 divided 1 is 4. Therefore, we have 20.5 plus 4. Then let us go to further by adding 20.5 or 50 plus 4. So the mode is 24.50 or 24.5. This is how we solve the mode of a group data. I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you and God bless everyone.